basically boarding the Heron Island Ferry, kind of by Harstein Island, if you know where that's at, if you know Washington. Very small island. I think it might be this one over this way. That might be the island. I said you can practically feed the deer out of your hand. They're so tame on this island. That's so cool. Look at that. Hi there. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh boy, so I just got a text from work and they got me on this crazy ass job where I'm supposed to be doing riser installs without knowing dimensions so it means I gotta pack a crap ton of material to make sure I have everything. So I'm driving like two hours from my work. So basically it takes an hour to drive to work and then I gotta drive two hours to where I'm supposed to be going to this ferry and I gotta be there at 7 a.m. at this ferry which means I gotta leave work by 5, gotta be there at 4 it means I gotta leave the house by 3 which means I gotta pretty much wake up at 2 a.m. Is that insane or what? Anyway, I had plans to go meet up with my girlfriend and I guess that's just out the, out the window now so that sucks. It's hard to have a relationship lately. It seems I never get to see her and uh yeah. I guess that's life, right? Damn. But anyway, um yeah, so I'm supposed to be installing risers and just be clearing this guy's uh his main line of his septic. Which I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna do that because I haven't really I've kind of done that before but you know <laughs> damn it's like I don't know like I guess you know we try it through like the clean out outside I've got the this like snake machine or whatever I can try that see if it works if not I gotta take the guy's toilet off and honestly I don't really know how to like safely take apart a toilet I might break something I hope not I really hope not. <laughs> uh, you can see I'm not like completely confident here with uh, my abilities on uh, clearing main lines. I am not. But I'm going to give it my best shot. Hopefully we don't mess anything up and hopefully everything goes well. But anyway, I called the guy because I don't have the dimensions and I'm trying to see if maybe he could help me out and give me some dimensions so I can just load up with what I need because... You know, I'm gonna need some room in the truck for that that uh, that uh, snake machine or whatever you guys want to call it. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, snake machine. We'll call it that. Got to make some room for that. So the less riser material I could put on there, you know, the better. I mean, of course, I'm gonna pack extra. Cause yeah, I'm riding a ferry over here. This guy's paying good money for me to go over there on this ferry. And he said something about there's another place where he wants risers installed, and can I do that in the same day? Uh, well, as far as, you know, two risers jobs in the same day, hell yeah, I could do that. Uh, but I don't know how long it's going to take to clean, clean clear this, uh, this main line, so. Whew, I don't know. All I know is I'm going to be, like, when I get there, man, I'm going to be in, like, freaking bust-ass mode. And we're going to get shit done as quick as we can. Because, you know. I gotta be on the ferry at a certain time too. I don't want to be there all day to the point where I miss the last ferry and I gotta stay the night on this island. <laughs> like what the fuck? No, I don't want to do that. What would I have to do? Sleep in a truck? Fuck. So, I don't know. This shit is crazy. And I'm gonna show up at the yard at like 4 a.m. There's gonna be nobody there. No supervisors. Nobody really to help me. I don't think. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to get this machine, which is, machine will be locked up somewhere. So I've got to figure out how to get that. And i got to figure out how to get into the shed where the riser lids are kept because I need some riser lids. Now the riser material is kept outside, you know, so I can handle that part. The saw to cut them, 
is outside too. So, you know, I can handle that part. I just need access to the lids. I need access to concrete, which I might know where I can get some concrete. So, yeah. And then I need this machine. Thing of majigga. <laughs> anyway, it's going to be interesting. It flat out sucks because I had plans with my girl, man. And now it's just whatever. Uh, life's just not fair sometimes. Anyway, it's like 6 o'clock. I gotta be in bed at 7 to get 7 hours of sleep. So, pretty much sucks because I'm hopped up on Red Bull. What do you think, buddy? You think I'm gonna be able to do this? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out though because I'm a badass and I'm a MacGyver type of person and we're gonna figure stuff out. Alright, so I've been talking to my boss and he's actually got a professional plumber going with me. And I talked to him and he said he's going to kind of show me how to use the mainline machine is what they call it. And uh, yeah, so I'll get a little training and I don't have to go not feeling confident. And I talked to the customer, he's going to get dimensions for me. Uh, like So I know what size riser material I need. So... Hopefully he gets back to me soon with that because my boss said they need to set it out because it's all locked up. <laughs> so, yeah, it's crazy. <sighs> crazy, crazy, crazy. But, yeah, I still got to go to bed at 7 a.m. I mean, 7 p.m., not 7 a.m. 7 p.m. I got to go to bed, which is in 19 minutes, and I still feel really wired on Red Bull. <laughs> this shit sucks. That's the part that really sucks, man, because I'm, like, amped up. And, you know, it sucks that I can get to see my, my girlfriend. That really sucks, too, man. Fuck. I was trying not to think about that. Anyway. If it'll all work out. Hopefully. <laughs> Guys, it's 2.43 a.m. <sighs> and I'm going to work. Damn. So fucking early. Urgh. It's gonna be a fun day. <laughs> uh, so we figured out some stiff. Um, basically, I've got a like certified plumber going with me, or professional plumber. I don't know if he's quite certified or what, but. He probably knows a shit ton more than me, and he's got the machine on his vehicle, and you know, he knows how to run it, so that's cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be going with him. We're going to do, do, do these riser installations, but um, I didn't get the dimensions from the customer until 10.30 last night. And my boss set up some 24-inch lids and some 12-inch lids for me. And the customer says we need 30 inch lids, and that's all in the lockup. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get them. <sighs> so it's gonna be crazy. Like, so how am I gonna do install risers without the lids? You know what I mean? So I don't know. Hopefully, I can get someone to get me those lids. I don't know what to do, but heading to work anyway. Gotta be there at four. I'll be there at four. Holy shit, so I just passed this uh, cop, and I was like, why well, is the cop there, right? And uh, I look, and there's a fucking car in the ditch, like, like deep into that ditch, like, holy shit, how do you do that? Hopefully they're alright, damn, so let's get on the cop to stop for that person, you know, because like, if you could just keep on going by, you never know, they could be like seriously messed up, so... Hopefully everybody's okay. Shit. One thing that's nice about driving at this time, uh, you know, after 3 a.m., there's, like, no traffic. I knocked off so many minutes off of my commute. Like, damn, this is nice. You know, it's not like I'm, like, speeding much, you know. I'm, I'm all right, but, uh, yeah, it's nice. There is a lot of cops out, though, that's for sure. That is for sure. There's cops everywhere right now. It's crazy. I'm trying to catch them drunk, drunken people. Uh, but damn, I'm set to be about 16 minutes early, so hell yeah, I'm kicking ass. Let's go. What's up, guys? I got the riser lids 
from the lockup. I had to call my boss at like 3.45 a.m. I don't think he was that happy about it, but you know, I had no option and I'm just doing my job. Anyway, we're all loaded up and I'm riding with a coworker here and we're gonna go kick some ass and we will be on time for our ferry ride. It's gonna be awesome. Look what I did, I fucked up. Look, I'm trying to charge my AirPods. They're in my fucking ears, guys. Like, what the fuck? This thing's empty. <laughs> I'm so fucking stupid. I gotta wake up, man. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, there we are, guys. Ferry's over that way. Hey, look at that. It's gonna be fun. Island must be over there. There's as well, so. Standby time for while we're in this ferry line, and then so we're uh, basically boarding the Heron Island ferry, which is uh, kind of by Harstein Island. If you know what that's at, if you know Washington, um, but that's what we're doing. We're riding the Heron, Heron Island ferry over to Heron Island, very small island. I think it might be this one over this way. That might be the island. It's not very big, so it might be that one. And that's the ferry there. Coworker said that they can only take these two trucks. Does that mean we're gonna wait a while or what? That's crazy. Yeah, ferry's leaving. <laughs> Doggy, how you doing? Yeah, he's with the carpet. Tennis. How you doing? You got a tennis ball? Can I throw it for you? Can I throw it? <laughs> I can throw it for you if you want. <laughs> First time out? Yep. Yeah. First time on this one, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're looking at at this point. We were checking it this morning. We're like, well, we ain't getting out that fast in the morning. So oh, like yeah, you play better than my dog. Here we go. <laughs> so there they are right there. That's where we're going. He said he's got the engine going so they don't go off the dock when the big trucks come off the, free, uh, off of the ferry. There it is, guys. It's coming back. Coming back to pick us up.
guys, how would you like to live in that house? That's beautiful. said you can practically feed the deer out of your hand. They're so tame on this island. That's so cool. Look at that. Hi there. <laughs> That's so cool. What's the best way for me to try to look at you? Here we go guys, got risers already concreted, installed. I'm going to backfill them in a little bit, but right now we're trying to shovel shoot this system. And we're digging for a thing called a D-box, short for a distribution box. Pretty much goes to the uh, the laterals for the drain field. Some, some kind of problem is, is there by the D-box or the laterals, one of the two. So we're hoping to find it's not so much of a problem. But we don't know yet, so we're digging. Lots of dirt. Time to found the problem. Some uh, roots down there. And I see a piece of pipe. Old concrete pipe. The end of the tank is the outlet, and that is the pipe that goes to the drain field laterals. See our mountain 
mountains of dirt here. <laughs> We've been digging. Try not to knock any in there. Yep. Looks yummy. Here we go, we got it flowing. The root stuff right here though. So we figured out uh, the drain fields needs to be replaced, which is like a uh, 15 to $25,000 fix, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, check out what we got here. Backfilled over the risers. They kind of wanted to hide them so they didn't have to look at them. And they're literally only a few inches under the dirt. We put some boards and that's your plywood and stuff. There and then we put plastic. This is so rainwater doesn't get all up in there, and uh, some driftwood to keep the plastic down. <sighs> yeah. Now all we gotta do is gotta manhandle that concrete lid. Oh man. Look at that freaking thing. It's heavy. Hey guys, we got the concrete in the freaking truck and our backs aren't feeling that great. <laughs> Gonna need to rest this weekend. But we're out of here. We're getting out of here. Driver's license required for you. Oh, you must not. And so we got a line of cars and uh, we made it for the 230, but I don't think we're gonna be able to catch it because there's all these cars. They gotta go first. Oh, and it's a small ferry. And these guys might want to go too. I think they're in line for going as well. Whew. I don't know. Okay, the propane guys let us go first. That was really nice of them. Probably didn't have enough hours. He's probably like, shit, I need more hours. <laughs> we ain't getting on this ferry. No, we ain't getting on this ferry. Which means we're waiting another 45 minutes. Oh my god. Fuck. Jeez. Honey bucket right there if you need it. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. I'm not even gonna bother. There's, right. no, there's no point in me trying to pull board. By the time they load this guy and that guy, I doubt they're turning for us. Is there one on the far right already? If there is, <sighs> we're screwed. Getting some killer footage. Those guys probably didn't want to park down the hill. So all these cars are on there guys. Uh, I really don't think there's room for us, but we're gonna see if they let us or not. I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. Shit. Man, we gotta hurry up and wait. Fuck. Uh, you might be able to make it. Let us on? I don't know. I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't know either. I'm waiting for them to wave us on. It kind of don't look like we got room. Is there enough room behind the red truck? Waving us. Well, let's go. <laughs> Not much room. Packed on the ferry like sardines. <laughs> All these other cars. <laughs> we barely made it. Least shocked you let us on. That's awesome. <sighs> Maybe he's like, no faith, I'm a professional. <laughs> it's a it, it. Oh, it's a small boat, man.
these guys want to get on. <laughs> Damn. All right, guys. So that was Heron Island. We're done. We're heading back to the shop. See you in ten hours. All right, guys. We're gonna hit a taco truck because we're freaking hungry. Um, gonna have to see about what kind of burrito they got. Check out that coat. I haven't seen one like that in a while. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, what's here? Chicken, guacamole, sour cream. Yeah. Is there rice in there? I think so. Wait, there's french fries inside of it? Whoa, whoa. That's pretty crazy. Tell me if I get this right, guys. Is it tech, tick, tick, beer, Korea? El Guero? I'm gonna send it to my girlfriend that last clip to see if uh, see if I pronounced it right. We got the Narrows Bridge. Anyways guys, uh, this is getting to be another long vlog and I'm just going to be driving home, sitting in traffic. So I'm going to close this one off and smash that like, subscribe if you haven't already, share on your social media, and comment down below. Alright y'all, peace out.